Hey YouTube, um, I'm coming to you quite late in the week uh, for a couple of reasons. First, um, I had some issues, some dental issues this weekend. Uh, Friday morning, I went to go brush my teeth and my cap or my crown fell out and went down the sink. Um, <laughs> I can laugh about it now because, um, it's obviously, I've gotten it fixed since then. And, um, let's just say it wasn't all that funny to me, um, when it happened. Um, even though it looked like a cartoon, I swear it went in slow motion, um, and I felt like it was not real until, um, I realized I was losing it. I was missing a tooth. Uh, so yeah, it was definitely really happening. Um, so I had to wait all weekend to get it fixed. Uh, my dentist office is not open on the weekends. So I went all weekend missing a tooth. So that's part of the reason why I did not film on Sunday like I usually do. Um, second reason is because I have been extremely busy with my new hire paperwork. I got a job. Um, I don't know if I said in any of my previous videos, but, um, I graduated for, uh, with my associates in medical lab science, um, back in 2017 and the only reason that I have not applied for a job up until now is because I have been in, well, process for surgery. Um, and they have been holding me up for quite a while. Uh, more than quite a while. <laughs> I think we established already. It's been almost two years that I've been in this surgery process. So now that I finally have surgery out of the way and I'm healed up, um... I went ahead and applied for a job. Um, I interviewed on the 1st and um, the 1st of March. And I found out two days ago that I got the job. So um, I have been busy with all of my new hire paperwork and getting everything squared away. Um, I finally finished that today, actually. I just went to go um, take my badge photo, which is why... The makeup is all done because um, you guys know I'm usually not wearing makeup unless there's something going on. Um, so, um, yeah, I am super excited about that. I am so, so happy to finally have a job in, well, the field that I went to school for. Um I'm super happy to finally be doing something with my degree and not feeling like a complete failure um, because I spent the last two years just sitting on it pretty much, um, which is not my fault. So I'm not going to be too hard on myself about it, but um, everything happens for a reason and maybe it just wasn't my time yet. And um, so, yeah. Um I'm super excited about that. So, let me get into some stats. Um, I had surgery on January 9th at Overlake Hospital in Bellevue, Washington with Dr. Gupta. Um, my highest recorded weight was 301 pounds. Um, my weight on the day of surgery was 276 pounds. I believe I weighed in last week at 2 hundred and fifty one point five pounds no two hundred and fifty one pounds exactly this week Sunday I weighed myself um and I was at two hundred and forty eight point five pounds which is a weekly weight loss of two point five pounds that brings my weight loss since surgery up to twenty seven point five pounds and my weight loss total um, to 52.5 pounds. Now, the reason I am so excited about my weight is because I am officially under 250 pounds, 
which has not been the case in 10 plus years. Um, and the reason I say 10 plus years is because I'm not exactly sure when the last time was that I was under 250 pounds. I don't ever remember actually being 250 pounds. I know that after I graduated medical assisting school, um, and I was working as a medical assistant, I consistently stayed between 235 and 238 pounds. I hit this three pound bracket that I could not break free from, and I was in that bracket for a good three years. So um, after that, I was not really weighing myself. And I think the reason for that is because I was... I don't think I was ready to admit to myself that I had gained weight. Um, and it was a significant amount of weight. Like I knew that and I don't think that I was ready to admit that to myself. So I did not weigh myself for about two years. And um, in that two years, some things happened and um, I gained about 40 pounds. Um, it felt to me like it was almost overnight because, like I said, I hadn't weighed myself in two years. So when I finally went to jump back on a scale, um, I was about 40 pounds heavier. Um, and um, I know what contributed to it. First of all, I had quit smoking cigarettes. And um, second of all, I had gone through something um I'm not exactly ready to talk about it yet but uh maybe one day minus today um but I can tell you that I fell into a pretty deep depression and I was not very kind to myself and um so I gained weight um a lot of it and um Suddenly, I was about 275 pounds, um, and I'm not exactly sure how quickly I gained that weight. Like I said, um, it had been a two-year period, so I don't know if I gained the weight in a year and just happened to maintain it for another year, or if it took the whole two years to gain that 40 pounds. I have no idea, but... Um, point is I did end up gaining a whole lot of weight in that two-year period um and so that was give or take about 10 or 11 years ago um and so rounding off I just say 10 plus years it's been 10 plus years since I was under 250 pounds so it's pretty exciting to me um and that was actually my first milestone goal, uh, milestone goal. I guess that's the same thing. Like, what do they call those oxymorons? If you say two words together, that mean the exact same thing. Anyway, um, that was my first milestone was, um, getting to 250 pounds. Well, technically, I guess 249 pounds because that's under 250. Anyway, um, and I also reached another milestone, my second milestone, which was to lose 50 pounds from my highest weight, um, which I did. Um, actually, I think that might have been my first milestone because 50 pounds from my highest weight would have been 251. So when I reached 251 last week, that was my first milestone. This week, being under 250 is my second milestone. There we go. Um, I have not rewarded myself for these milestones yet, which was my initial idea, um, was to reward myself with something when I reached my milestones. Um, and it's really weird because... I have no problem keeping my word to everyone else. If I say I'm going to do something, you can bet your life that it's going to get done. 
when it comes to keeping my word to myself, that's a whole nother story. Like I tell myself all the time, yes, I'm going to do this for myself. I'm going to do that for myself. I'm going to invest in this for myself. And I never do. And I really have to work on that. Like that's something that I really need to work on. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to try to find a way to um, reward myself for those two milestones. Um, even if it's the same reward for both, um, I may just go up to Seattle, which is only like 45 minutes away from Tacoma where I live. Um, but I may get a hotel room up there for one or two nights and ride some of the rides on the waterfront and just, you know, walk around and see what I can see. Um, so that might have to be enough because I can't do anything too expensive as a reward because um, I am budgeting for two trips that I am taking. Um, the first trip is I'm going to Virginia in August of this year. And um, for my birthday, which is November of next year, um, I am going to Jamaica. So I'm kind of budgeting out for both of those trips right now. So I can't afford too much for my milestone rewards, but I do want to at least try to budget out a little something to kind of, um, you know, say good job to myself. So, um, we shall see. We'll see how that works out. I'll definitely let you guys know what I end up doing or, um, what happens. So, um, Let's see. Oh, Virginia. Okay, so I'm supposed to be going to Virginia in August. Um, it's been planned for um, about six months since last August, actually. Um, and the reason I'm going down there, well, the main reason I'm going down there is to visit friends, but I also have an event that I'm going to down there. It's a LGBTQ, LGBTQ, um, event. Um, it's called FemC Nation. Um, and it's just, it's mainly, actually, I think it's all lesbians, um, they come down the first night. It's a two night event. The first night is, um, strippers. <laughs> it's a strip show. Um, and the second night is, um, like a talent show. Um, they rap, they sing, they dance, they do spoken word, they do poetry, whatever their talent may be. Um, they perform. So, um, I'm really looking forward to this. Um, I went last year and I had a lot of fun, um, and things were a little disorganized last year, and so, um, because of that, the promoter, uh, gave us free tickets for this year, um, and so, I mean, you can't beat free, and so I figured, uh, we'd give it another go. My entire Virginia trip last year was not exactly worth writing home about. Um, the event was a little disorganized, but that actually was not the worst part of my trip. The hotel we were staying at was horrible, and I mean horrible. Um, the only good thing I can say about it is that it was super close to the airport and that it had 24-hour shuttle service. Um, other than that... It was under renovation, which it failed to mention on its website. The air conditioning was not working. We had to be switched rooms three times um, for different reasons. I won't go into all of that. Um, the vending machine, like the water machine, was down. They did not have water at the front desk. So if we wanted bottled water, we had to literally find the nearest store or we had to stock up on water while we were 
in town or whatever. And we were staying outside, just outside of Richmond. Um, and so this time I got smart. I hope I got smart anyway. Um, and I decided to stay smack dab in the middle of Richmond. Um, it costs a little bit more, but um, I want to be as close to the action as possible. Um, I don't want to have to rely on a shuttle service to get everywhere. Um, or I don't want to have to rely on Lyft or Uber to get everywhere. I want to be able to walk if I need to, to get to wherever I need to get to. If I want to go to a museum, I want the option to walk, you know. Um, and I know that Richmond is big and I know that I'm not going to be able to walk everywhere. But I don't want to feel like I'm so far from the action that I have to have transportation to get everywhere. You know what I mean? Um, so I decided that I am this time I'm going to get a room um, smack dab in the middle of downtown Richmond <laughs> where all the action is at. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're going to go down there. Um, last year we spent three days down there. This time, we're going to probably end up spending about five days down there because, um, like I said, I have friends that I'm visiting and I want to be able to spend some time with them and not have to be rushing to get to my event and everything. Um, so yeah, there's that. Then Jamaica. Jamaica... Um, is a compromise and I know everybody's like Jamaica how is Jamaica a compromise I'm gonna tell you how I wanted to go to the Bahamas for my birthday this year which was supposed to be the plan because I was supposed to have had surgery last year um and because the surgery is drag on, drug on as long as it has um and I was not able to work and all of that so financially and pretty much everything was working against me going to the Bahamas for my birthday this year so um I was trying to I was going to instead go to the Bahamas for my birthday next year um and I started doing some research and everything and apparently the Bahamas has a lot of damage um the resorts are pretty much picking up the pieces from the hurricanes that have just torn through there. Um, so they've been pretty beaten up and battered by um, the hurricanes that have come through there in the last few years. Um, so I was figuring I wouldn't actually stay on land if I was to go to the Bahamas. It would be more like a cruise through the Bahamas kind of thing. Um, and I know that, um, my sister-in-law has been wanting to go to Jamaica for like ever. I don't know why. I don't know why Jamaica was never on my, like, just gotta get their list. Um, but now suddenly it is, um. So it was kind of a compromise. Um, I told her that instead of the Bahamas, we can do Jamaica, but it has to be for my birthday. Um, and she was okay with that, so we made it a family thing. It'll be me, my brother, and uh, my sister-in-law. Um, and my niece, if she's old enough to enjoy it, um, she will be six years old going on seven when we leave. So, um, I don't know if she's going to enjoy Jamaica at that age. Um, so she might have to sit this one out and I might have to plan something for her, um, for just me and her to do together, maybe Disneyland or something. Um, but yeah, so I'm also budgeting for that. So, um, I got quite a bit going on. Um, <laughs> I 
I'm also budgeting for a car. Um, my mom's car, we thought that her transmission had went out, which meant that I was going to um, sell her car and sell my car and see how much I could get for both. And I was going to put it down on, as a down payment on a new car. Um, and it turns out that... Um, whatever's wrong with her car is a pretty easy and cheap fix so she decided to keep her car which changes my plans a little but not that much um so i am still selling my car um to see what i can get for it and um next week my brother is going to go with me to look for a new car so that's also um in my budget so I'm budgeting out for quite a few things. So you can see why I have not rewarded myself for my milestones yet. Because um, <laughs> my money is going everywhere. Um, so yeah. That is it. Um, I did a little bit of shopping today. So um, this video is already 21 minutes. And I have the feeling that it's going to give me the warning saying that... Um, it's too long so real real quick I'm just gonna show you a couple of things that I got so um, I got some new pants they're like um, leggings but jeggings but slacks if that makes sense I came up with my own word for them I call them sleggings because um, they're slacks but they're stretchy slacks I guess and I just got two undershirts um, because at my job I am not allowed to wear sweaters and I will be in a lab coat the whole time and so um, I get cold very very easily I heard that that would be an issue after surgery but unfortunately that the surgery had nothing to do with that with me I've always gotten very cold um, so I just got some little long sleeve undershirts to go underneath my scrubs or whatever I'm wearing just to keep me warm. Story about this is that I tried these on, um, in the fitting room and this is a 2X. Yes, this is a 2X and it fits me perfectly and it's a true 2X, um, and it fits perfectly. Um, which is a non-scale victory. And this one um, did not come in a 2X, but it came in a 3X, and it's a slightly large on me. But I actually like that because um, it's an undershirt anyway, so it's not like um, anybody's going to see that it's a little large on me. But I just loved it because it was purple. And um, I believe I've already told you guys that purple is my absolute favorite color. So, um, yeah, that's what I got today. Um, yeah. Um, I think that's it for the interesting stuff. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. And I will see you in my next video. Actually, I owe you guys a video. Um, I said that I was going to do a video about the 10 things that helped me out the most um, after surgery. And I'm going to. Um, but because I couldn't exactly come up with 10 things, um, I might combine the two videos. Like um, 10 things that helped me out, but also things that I wish I knew um, about surgery yeah and I haven't decided if I'm gonna incorporate like um, the different recipes that I did like ways that I got creative with my puree stage and all that or if I'm gonna make that a completely different video um, but I will figure it out and um, I will upload that video so, um, thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you guys later.